Is Taylor Swift dead? This theory says yes. Taylor Swift just sent his into a complete frenzy by dropping a ghost song. Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. Today we're talking about whether or not Taylor Swift is indeed dead. Now I know what you're thinking, this can't be possible. Not once have I heard anybody talking about this. Well, that's where you're wrong. Plenty of fan theories have been developing over the years and asking a ton of questions. Who is she dating now? What's the next album she's going to create? What is it going to be about? And most importantly, and what we're talking about today, is Taylor Swift even alive? Now follow me as I lead you down the rabbit hole. Now the genesis of this theory is quite simple. Taylor Swift for many years has been seen as the girl next door. This country girl that came out of the woodwork and suddenly made a name for herself. We were all very proud of her seeing her grow up from this girl that just strung the guitar to this powerhouse that sang and danced on stage with millions and millions of people watching her. Now you may be aware of a lot of the fan theories surrounding Taylor Swift, but one you probably have never heard is how she died in a car accident. You have to understand that Taylor Swift is on all types of interviews all the time and there are some interviews you probably have never seen. Let's go ahead and look at the interview she did with Graham Norton where she talks about this fatal car accident. Roll the clip. Be your best self at driving and I got in two car accidents <gasps> with him in the car. Now you probably have never heard of this happening and that's simply because the industry did not want you to know. This car accident was kept a large secret. Of course, the footage was leaked, but as it was a secret, they developed a plan to make sure that nobody was any the wiser. And what did they do to make sure this wasn't a big deal? They replaced Taylor Swift. Now, let's be super crystal clear. We do not have a name of the person that actually replaced her. And this isn't super abnormal. There are presidents that we have known to have body doubles in case there's something that happened to them. People have had body doubles in public to make sure that if anything were to happen, like an assassination, the real person would be safe. Now the question is, what happens if the real person gets hurt or dies? Well obviously, you have to make sure that the replacement is prepared to take up the mantle of that celebrity or person of interest. Look, I'll take it even further. I want you to consider how actors and actresses do movies. Well, as somebody who's been on set before many times, they have something called a photo double. A photo double is designed to be on set just in case the main actor or actress is unavailable. And keep in mind, while you're watching the movie, often you are seeing this body double without even realizing that that's not the real star. Yes, we're talking about trained body doubles, trained photo doubles, we're talking about trained stunt doubles. So before you stop and say, no, 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 this can't be true, this doesn't make any sense. Look at the evidence I'm presenting. There have been body doubles, there is a history of that, this is possible. How hard really would it be to believe that Taylor Swift got in this car accident? Now whether it was immediately fatal or not, point is that at some point she died. And in dying, the industry, her managers, and her record label had to find a quick replacement to make sure that they had a cover story. Now, the most important part of this conspiracy are the clues that her replacement has been leaving in songs and albums to let us know that Taylor has been gone for quite a while. Her album Reputation came out back in 2017. Many conspiracy theorists believe that the car crash happened right before the start of the development of her album Reputation. Why is this important? Because when you look at the discography between when the real Taylor Swift was alive and working to when the replacement was alive and working, you can see an obvious difference in track listing, the names, and even the themes and tones of the songs. 
Reputation is a fantastic example because her track list is entirely different from what she usually writes. Let's just read a few names off the track list to look at how she's juxtaposing what the previous Taylor Swift used to write. She had songs on there like Endgame, I Did Something Bad, Don't Blame Me, and most importantly, the song Look What You Made Me Do. This is a huge part of the theory and where one of the biggest pieces of evidence lies in this entire theory. For example, let's just read the first few stanzas in her song to get an idea of where we're going. I don't like your perfect crime, how you laugh when you lie. You said the gun was mine, isn't cool, no, I don't like you. When we look at these lyrics, we see that she is very upset at some of the standards that have been set in place by somebody above her. Whether it be a man or maybe the industry, we see that there's something going on here. Now here's where it starts getting interesting. The lyrics read, But I got smarter. I got harder in the nick of time. Honey, I rose from the dead. I do it all the time. I got a list of names, and yours is in red, underlined. I check it once, then I check it twice. I raise from the dead. Now, this could be a simple reference of just saying I rise from the ashes like a phoenix or I always come back stronger when I'm down. But a lot of conspiracy theorists and fans believe this is a key note in the conspiracy. She did die. Taylor Swift, the original Taylor Swift died. But the resurrection that's being mentioned in this line is directly about Taylor Swift's replacement took over after the original died. But the replacement Taylor says, the world moves on, another day, another drama. But not for me, not for me. All I think about is karma. And then the world moves on. But one thing's for sure, maybe I got mine, but you'll all get yours. This line right here, is a perfect example of if this replacement Taylor is bitter about the transaction. If she had a life before she had all this fame. Maybe she's jealous of the dead Taylor. Maybe she truly did not want this life and wants a way out, but can't because she's trapped within a contract. Maybe she made a promise to the original Taylor. Maybe this is a duty that she must carry out. And if she doesn't, well, let's just say, she will be replaced as well. The absolute most important line in this song is this right here. I'm sorry, the old Taylor can't come to the phone right now. Why? Oh, because she's dead. Now, of course, let's not forget the imagery in the music video itself. The snakes and serpents all over the screen. Let's not forget she got in a car accident in the music video. I'm just saying. People in and out of the frame, Taylor Swift looking disheveled and angry. This is an obvious example of how the replacement Taylor is having a hard time dealing with all of this new pressure. And it's coming to a head. Now sure, Taylor Swift may seem normal now, and maybe this conspiracy is absolutely outrageous and I should really visit a psychologist to make sure that I'm not crazy in the head. <laughs> I know I'm not. But the point is that this is a great view as to how sometimes we think something is going on when it really isn't. And maybe, just maybe, the queen you thought was on the throne has been gone for a very long time. And now the question is, is Taylor Swift really dead? Is she gone, died in a car accident, and was replaced by somebody else who's having too hard of a time carrying this weight on her shoulders? Or is all this just a fabrication? Some craziness coming from the fans and conspiracy theorists who just want a good headline. Maybe we'll never know, unless more evidence comes out to suggest that we, the conspiracy theorists, just might be correct. When we explore these conspiracy theories, we go through all types of potential evidence all over the internet from fans and other conspiracy theorists and even people who look very closely at lyrics and music videos. Look, this is the whole point of the channel, man. I'm here to open your eyes and your mind to all of these things you may have been unaware of. And that's why I'm happy to be here, baby. <laughs> yeah! You know, I make the big bucks doing this. I'm kidding, I make zero dollars. Literally nobody is here. But that's okay because I love what I do. 
Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed and subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. I'm really trying hard to make sure I push out these videos and I am on TikTok, of course, with almost 700,000 followers. So I would love it if you could just follow me on here because I would love to make more long form content and do more for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day and better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.